Obi-Wan. I love beating my ego. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't have time to lead you through all of it. Like, you don't have time to be here all the time so that I can teach you everything that I need to teach you to help you out. And, like, you can go look at it any time, and it's going to save us time. It's going to let us go faster. Like, I'm throwing you buoys right now, like a, little, a line, and I'm trying to, like, tug you up the wave. But the videos I made, that's the jet ski. That's like, you could just hop on at any time and just zip right up to the top <laughs> of the man, wave you whenever really you just want. fucking tied a nice bow around that analogy, man. That's a beautiful analogy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Definitely make this a highlight. So, that's why I'm so pressing and I, I try, like, I'm not trying to shove knowledge down your throat. I'm trying to just get you to absorb, observe what I've done in a clear way, concise. You can pause it, you can look up the definition of a word, you can rewind it, you can think about it. Like, it's much better than just listening to me speak. And then you'll also save me from having to say a lot of things for the thousandth time. So I've had these conversations so much. You notice that I'm good at teaching it. Well, it's because I didn't have videos until this past year. Now that I have videos, it's made it so I don't have to teach the same thing a thousand times over. I can just say, hey, here, catch up real quick. You know, take you a couple of days periodically watching a video. You'll have fun doing it, I promise. And uh, you'll even want to show people. But not until you actually do it. Then you'll realize that you're like, oh, why did I wait so long? He was right. <laughs> Damn. And um, you'll come back to me with different eyes and different perspectives on so many things. And you might have some questions, but not many. It's like, I, I'm not, it's not so complex that you have to have gone to school to understand it. I make everything understandable. I do. But I also, there are still a couple of words you're going to have to maybe look up and concepts you'll have to think about for a second and then continue type thing. It's not going to be effortless. But at the same rate, it's fucking worth it. And when we're all riding the same crest of the wave, we're going to be all that much better at group thinking and group puzzle solving. And we'll all be contributing like this perfect harmony. I've seen it happening. Even when my mom was here a few days, we were kind of rough. Like she's trying to get to know me again, this form that exists. But then she gets, she adapts to it. And then we get around some other people at this class for um, edibles. And we were all sitting there trying to identify the edible plants that we found and use these books to key them out. And I was watching this happen where first everyone's ego and individual self kicks in and they try to figure it out themselves. I watched them toil with it and myself also like because they weren't helping me. They were helping themselves to try to figure it out. Right. All in their own head. Right. Not blurting out the wrong answer like I, I do. I just blurt out the wrong answer and the biologist like, well, at least you're guessing and everyone else just stays silent. Right. Well, as soon as people started blurting out the wrong answers and all just thinking as a group, we solved it like seconds. Four of us solved it so fucking fast. And I was like, see, we're all riding the crest of the wave at that point. We're all right there supporting and contributing. Whereas the longer people wait to watch my material and show it to their family and catch up everyone and get everyone on the thought revolution... And the harder all of this is going to be, the worse our existence is going to be. And again, that sounds so arrogant to people who believe in individualism. Don't picture it as that it's this one dude who thinks he's awesome telling you to go look at how awesome he is. Because that's not what's going on. This is the consciousness of the universe being aware and speaking to itself, which is you, and passing the wave, passing the torch. Giving for free the life's work that other people, individualists, arrogant sons of bitches, would make into a book and then refuse to give you for free and then sue you if you downloaded the book on Pirate Bay, the, like an ebook. Whereas me, I will give it to you for free, and if you want to give me any money, fine, go ahead. I'm not going to use it for myself. I'm not going to buy a Ferrari. I'm going to fucking make a bunch of jobs that we get to work one day a week and fucking have all our time back so more people can enjoy experience. I I don't care about the self. I think so. uh like yeah man, your your demographic it, it's got to it's got to focus on people who already have that time, 
You know what I mean? Like, the only mm -hmm. reason we get along is because, like, I've gone through that process. I, I, like, I live a privileged enough life and surrounded by enough love that I don't have to work 40 hours a week to support myself. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a slave. I can choose to be if I right. want to, but, like, my parents got my back, you know? And they've, like, paved that way for me. Like, I couldn't do it without them. You know, I couldn't do it without anyone in society, so it's, like... Like, yeah, man, right. I, 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 is, it, is there a name for that demographic? Like, privileged, like, our generation, privileged? Like, yeah, our generation, they call us, like, whatever, the X generation or the Y generation, or whatever the fuck it is. They're like, these people are privileged, they've had everything, they think they're entitled to everything, they expect it. We had, like, the last generation had to work their ass off, and the generation before that had to work their ass off even more. These fucking Y generation or, or whatever. And they don't realize what happened. Like everything we're talking about right now, our parents and our grandparents, they don't realize our value and what has happened and what we have become. They see a bunch of entitled, spoiled, rich kids that whatever, don't deserve the silver spoon they were handed. And that's a hard fucking to hurdle to jump, jump over, man. Yeah. I had, I mean, me and my mom got into a fight over basically that sort of attitude and like in, in my life and I had to explain to her what was actually happening with all of society and people's psychological state and I had to explain why the way that perception is flawed so dangerously and uh, like how when they kicked me out of the house when I was 17 it was actually the worst thing they could have done and fighting with me and trying to get me to be this thing that they were like they needed to just support what I wanted to do and not tell me what to do and just if I wanted knowledge I would find it they need to help me get it if you know if I'm into something just support it and if they had done that I would have you know got on the internet I would have gotten to computers at like probably 17 18 years old I would have been a really a big computer junkie they could have spent like tons of money on computer stuff for me in video games. I'd have become I'd become a virtuous cause and effect an analyst from being so video game driven. I'd have been connected to the internet and part of that whole wave of consciousness and form of learning. I would be way further than I am now. I would have t who knows what I would have turned into. I'm glad it happened this way because this was an interesting ride and it was unique and I don't have any regrets. But what they wanted me to become, I would have become something like that if they had just allowed me to be. Be the weird comic book nerd, video game nerd, and stay inside in my fucking little basement and sleep all fucking day and smoke weed and fuck bitches. And if that's what I wanted to do, then help me to fucking do that safely. That's all you needed to do. And and this whole attitude that when you're 18, you got to get out of the house and be self-sufficient and and all that shit, like, that's fucking bullshit. Like, the more complex reality becomes, the more time we need to learn how to live in it. So really, the more we need to stay in the nest. Because reality keeps getting more harder to deal with. And we are animals. This thing we call animals. Like, we have to adapt to civilization. What the fuck? We have to break our spirit. That is not an uncommon reaction to that policy guy. I think he got killed. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just perfect timing. And, like, I can hear him, and he can't hear me. So. Yeah, it, did, it did really go with that. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make him part of the show, even though he's not part of the show at the moment. Mm, mm. So once I got my mom on the same page, and I got her to watch, I showed her, like, all of my videos. Um, the series titled ultimate questions in the, in the series in that ultimate questions playlist called what am I best answer a superorganism I had to make her watch that twice she had to like watch it process it for a couple of days and then we had to watch it again and like she had different questions the second time and you know she like made progress